Hey beautiful and welcome to another episode of the Manifesting Simplified podcast. I'm your host Paulina Xenia and if you're brand new to my world, welcome. I'm here to empower you so that you can get into the driver's seat of your life and manifest what it actually is that you want. I'm super excited that you're here because today we're going to dive into why manifestation hasn't worked for you. And at the end of this episode, you're going to walk away with one thing that you need to focus on if you want to manifest the dream relationship with your specific person or your soulmate love, your dream career where you get paid well or your dream business or just more money in general and more abundance and whatever else it is that you want. It's not that manifestation isn't real or that your manifestation doesn't work. From my own personal experience when it comes to manifesting what I want and also what I see with the clients that come to me is that there's often this one critical piece to the manifestation puzzle that is missing. Often the clients that come to me have been struggling to manifest what it is that they want for months or even years and for some reason they just haven't been able to make manifestation work for them yet. Often they have been trying these gimmicky manifesting techniques that you see online like the whisper method and the 369 method and all of these viral methods and they just haven't worked. It's like they're frustrated because they have been doing all of this hard work and doing all of these sorts of manifesting techniques and repeating affirmations and their manifestation is still nowhere to be found and they don't see any movement in their reality and nothing is changing. And they start second guessing themselves and questioning whether they're even doing it right. And they also start doubting the manifestation process and they start doubting whether manifestation is real or not. And the worst thing is when they see someone else being able to manifest what it is that they want through doing those exact same techniques that they already tried and that didn't work for them. That's when they really start questioning whether they're even worthy or good enough for these things that they want and thinking that maybe these things are just not meant for them. And if this is where you also are right now, I want you to know that it's okay because we're gonna change it here today. These clients were just missing a critical piece of the manifestation process that when they got this piece, that's when everything shifted. That's when they were finally able to manifest those things that they actually wanted. So that's why I assume that you're also missing this one critical piece. The thing is that manifestation isn't magic. Even if sometimes it can feel like that when you shift this one thing that we're going to talk about today and then you suddenly have all of those beautiful, amazing manifestations that you have wanted for so long show up in your reality. Manifestation is also not just for a few selected people that are privileged or lucky. Manifestation has nothing to do with luck. I know that right now in the online space there's this thing called the lucky girl syndrome where everybody is trying to become the lucky person that gets everything that they want and while there's nothing wrong with that, you don't need luck in order to manifest. Manifestation is actually super logical and it's backed by science and it works the exact same way for everybody no matter what gender you identify as or your physical appearance and how you look like or how smart you are and your education level. Your background also doesn't matter at all. So it doesn't matter what happened yesterday and it doesn't matter what happened 30 years ago in your childhood. None of these things matter when it comes to manifesting what it is that you actually want. And that's the beautiful part about manifestation. 
the thing that you need to understand in order to manifest what it is that you want and to do so on repeat, like continuously, is how manifestation works in the first place and how you are in fact creating your reality and all of those circumstances and experiences either consciously or unconsciously through your own subconscious mind. Yes, the subconscious mind is the missing piece for why your manifestation hasn't worked for you yet. And working with the subconscious mind is the only fail-proof way to manifest what it is that you want and do so on repeat, without luck, without willpower, without any other manifesting techniques or even repeating affirmations. This is also the reason for why Susie could do a manifesting technique like the whisper method and she was able to manifest her specific person back, but the whisper method didn't work for you. It's not your fault, it's because of your subconscious mind. And so if manifestation hasn't worked for you yet, it boils down to this one thing and that's your subconscious mind holding you back. It's your subconscious beliefs holding you back. And that's basically your self-concept, which is your beliefs about yourself, how you perceive yourself and your beliefs about the world in general and all areas of your life. So let's say that you're manifesting your dream relationship with your specific person or new soulmate love. You can keep repeating all of those positive affirmations about how you're chosen and how you're first priority and how you're worthy and good enough of this dream relationship with that person. And you can keep doing all of these manifesting techniques that you see in the online space. But until you work on your belief system and you get your subconscious beliefs in alignment with your conscious desires, with what it is that you actually want, you're not going to see any manifestation results. And I learned this the hard way because not many people are talking about the subconscious mind and yet it's so important when it comes to manifesting what you want because no amount of doing manifesting techniques and no amount of exerting willpower and force and no amount of repeating affirmations to yourself will override your subconscious mind and your beliefs. And so the term subconscious means beneath your level of conscious awareness, aka it's there and it's influencing all areas of your life 24-7, but you have no idea what it is. So I want you to imagine your brain like an iceberg, where you have the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. And the majority of the iceberg is covered in water, so it's beneath the level of water. So you can't see it with your eyes, but it's still there. And it's influencing over 95% of your life. It's influencing over 95% of the things that you're manifesting into your life. The circumstances, the experiences, and all of those people that you're attracting into your life. And so it's huge because it plays a massive role in what you're manifesting into your life. And then you have your conscious mind, which is the tip of the iceberg. It's that little part on the top of the iceberg that you can actually see with your eyes. But the conscious mind is only responsible for creating around 5% of your life. And so underneath the surface, that's the subconscious mind and it stores all of your beliefs and your self-concept. Basically how you see yourself as it pertains to all areas of your life and how you feel about yourself. And this is why I'm always talking about this. Because the issue when it comes to manifesting what it is that you want 
is that it's your subconscious mind and your belief system that are creating over 95% of your manifestation results. And so if your subconscious beliefs are not in alignment with your conscious desires, with what it is that you actually want to manifest into your life, nothing is going to work. Your subconscious beliefs are always going to prevent you from manifesting what it is that you actually want. And they're going to sabotage your manifestation results because even if you were to manifest those things in, you're not going to be able to hold on to those manifestations. And here's the bummer. Most of your beliefs that are now creating your reality were formed before you were seven years old. Yes, most of those beliefs stem from your childhood. They were formed through all of those experiences that you had growing up. From all of those things that you heard, witnessed and saw from your parents or your caregivers growing up. And those are the things that are now creating your life. And all of your experiences in love and relationships, for example. And this is exactly how your subconscious mind is manifesting your life on autopilot for you and you don't have to do anything. It's really just through your own belief system or your self-concept. And so how it looks like when your beliefs are playing out in your relationships, for example, and how your subconscious mind is manifesting those painful experiences in love and relationships is, for example, if you have beliefs of not being good enough and not being chosen, always feeling like the second option and being scared that the people that you love and care so much about will end up hurting you and leaving you. How these beliefs often play out is that your specific person is gonna leave you and go off with another person. So there's gonna be a third party situation where your specific person is choosing someone else over you. Making you feel like you're never chosen and that you're second option. Because there's this other woman or man that is taking your place. Or it could also be that your specific person is telling you that they're not ready for commitment, but then they end up going off with another person and immediately put that ring on their finger. And so until you change those beliefs in the subconscious mind, you're not going to be able to create new experiences for yourself in love and relationships. And instead, you're always going to be repeating these same painful patterns over and over again, even if it's a new person with a new face and a new name, but the same shitty patterns where you always end up feeling not good enough, not chosen and second best. And so if you actually want to manifest what it is that you want, here's what to focus on instead. The number one thing is to upgrade your subconscious mind and your belief system. This is also called subconscious reprogramming and it's basically changing your beliefs. And so you don't have to change all of your beliefs. You just need to change those beliefs that are not in alignment with what it is that you want. And so, for example, if you want a healthy, long-lasting, committed relationship where you feel chosen, valued, respected, prioritized and loved every single day, then you cannot hold on to beliefs like, I am never chosen, I am always second best, I am not worthy, I am not good enough, the people I love always end up leaving me, right? Those are just not a match. And so if you're wondering right now how to start the reprogramming process and how to actually reprogram the subconscious mind for success and change your beliefs so that you can get what it is that you want, I have two options for you right now. If you're manifesting your dream relationship with your specific person or soulmate love, where you feel chosen, adored, valued and cared for every single day and you get exactly what you want, so you get the exact treatment that you want from that specific person, then I invite you to join the program called Manifest Your Specific Person Within 21 Days. 
That's really the deep dive into creating everything you want when it comes to love and relationships, no matter what circumstances you're currently facing. The proven step-by-step -step process that I'm teaching inside the Manifest Your Specific Person within 21 Days program has already changed thousands of love lives. The other option that I have for you, which is more of a low ticket offer, is the Manifestation Club. This is really the place where all of your manifestations finally become your reality. And this is where you get access to powerful tools for reprogramming your subconscious mind and changing your belief system. This is the place for you to be if you want to step into your power as the conscious creator of your reality and you're looking for effective and powerful manifestation tools that actually work and that are backed by science for modern manifestation. The Manifestation Club has already helped thousands of women and men transform their lives in a short period of time and manifest their dream relationship with their specific person or soulmate love or just improving their relationships and not only the relationship with themselves but also with friendships and with their specific person or partner and manifesting a new job with higher pay, more money more job opportunities or more business success and just better health overall where they manifest their dream body and clearer skin and whatever else it is that you want to manifest right now it's all possible for you inside the manifestation club and this is all possible for you because we focus on reprogramming your subconscious mind and upgrading your self-concept and your belief system for success instead of just focusing on surface level stuff like manifesting techniques and repeating affirmations that will never bring you the long-lasting results that you're here for. I just want to say that my manifestation programs and also the manifestation club is not for everyone. If you want to stay in victim mentality and blame everyone and everything outside of yourself for your lack of manifestation results and for why you don't have the things that you want, this is not the place for you. Because we are taking action and we're changing our lives from the inside out. Also, if you want to stay stuck in this information gathering mode and just seek more knowledge and seek more information and scroll through social media and watch hundreds of YouTube videos and read about manifestation and all of those universal laws like the law of attraction and the law of assumption, but you actually don't want to take action to change your life, this is not the place for you. Because I want everybody who signs up for my manifestation programs, for example, the Manifest Your Specific Person within 21 days, or the Manifestation Club to actually get manifestation results and to change their lives. And that's why I want only the action takers to join, because you need to take action in order to see different results. And the action that I'm talking about is doing the inner work and changing your self-concept and your belief system. You can find all of the information about my manifestation programs and the manifestation club linked below. So see you on the inside and I cannot wait for you to share all of your success stories with me and all of those beautiful things that happened after joining. Also, if you found this episode helpful and eye-opening, I would love to hear all about it, so please don't hesitate to send me a message on Instagram or TikTok or just reach out to me through email. See you in the next episode and bye for now!